Okay, y'all, what's up? Welcome back. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. How's everyone doing today? Guys, we seen a little, I seen a little bit of snow today. Well, it turned into rain, but I think we're about to get some of that snowfall. Hope all is well. Thank you guys for your continued love and support for my channel. To my A1 Day Ones, to my new soul subscribers, I welcome you all with love, light, and peace. All right. Um, if this is, um, if you are seeking a personal reading, all my information is in the description box below. Okay. Um, what else I want to announce now, you know, I was getting a message today when I was driving in the car and I, I heard that, you know, and it's for somebody here or a few people, I should say quite a few people here. Um, a lot of y'all got the enemies, living under you guys are living with the enemies under the same roof yeah some of them y'all sleep in the same bed together mm -hmm. now i'm gonna talk it how i hear it you feel me i'm only a vessel so don't shoot the messenger you feel me and um a lot of y'all are starting a business okay or have started a business and you know especially with the person that you laid up with every night this person don't help they're not interested in what you're doing no, they're not. They don't even, they barely, they don't even help you with your business. But this is your spouse. Uh, these are the people that you got in your home. And I'm talking the adult ones, the older ones. You know, not the blessed, the poor little hearts of the children. I'm talking about the person that you're sleeping with, the ones that you got under your roof. And when business start to pick up, these same people are the same one that you're sleeping with going to be like, well, remember when I did this for you? I don't care if they shredded one little piece of paper for you. They're going to want a whole bunch of credit. They're going to want to reap from the benefits of shred shredding a piece of paper for you or mailing out a package for you or scanning and faxing or whatever. The one little thing they did, honey, they're going to want to reap a big benefit from your business. But remember now, sleepless nights was what you did to get this business off the ground. And, and and if some of them, if you if you guys aren't getting along um, the, and you threaten that you're going to want to leave them, this person going to try to drag you down. But they weren't the one that helped you to build the business. Now, some of y'all, y'all know who I'm talking to. You know yourselves. And who the cap fit, let them wear it. Do not adjust the cap to fit and do not try to force it on your head if it don't fit. This Y'all know who I'm talking to. You know yourself. These are the very same people that you got under your roof or the same one that you laid up beside every night that don't believe in your dream, don't believe in your vision, but ain't willing to help you with it. Hmm. But the moment you start bringing in money on that business, they're going to be the first one that want to live the luxurious life and feed off of it. You feel me? I don't know who's that for, but that was the message. <laughs> you know, a new year is coming up and, um, it's time to clear out the baggage. So it's time to clear out the baggage. Okay. New year is coming up. Because, yeah, you working hard on your foundation. Uh-huh. This is somebody that you call your love. You're loyal to the business. But they ain't, get, they ain't loyal to you. You loyal to them, but they ain't loyal to you. You're the only one putting in this hard work to accomplish all that you want. You understand? Yeah. There go the relationship I'm talking about. There it go. There it go. This is the partnership right here, but you're the only one doing the work. Mm. Anyways, they're going to want to reap when they see business taking off. When they see that money coming in, they're going to want to reap, but they don't want to put in the hard work. They don't want to help you. And if they helped you to do one little itty bitty thing, they're going to be like, well, well, remember when you asked me to file some papers to you? They're going to want to they're going to want to eat just because they file a few little papers for you. Child, please. Anyways. Mother Isis' father. Yeah. There you go. They're going to want to drag you under death. Scorpionic energy. They're going to want to try. But Spirit says time to end it. Like I said, New Year is coming. Time to end it. Okay? Know who's loyal to you and who's not. You feel me? Okay now. All right now. All right. Mother Isis, Father God, as I open these realms, I ask that you give me clear, honest messages for those who need to hear it. Protect my energy, my aura. Angels of the highest white light, protect me, guide me. So mote it be. Yeah, so mote it be. All right, let's get some cards out here on the table, my collective. See what's popping. That was the message. Six. Six. Wow. Gemini energy here.
I feel like somebody here is with this 12 right here. This 12 comes down to the three. Now I'm picking up two different energies here. One is you breaking generational curses here. You're chosen from this family bloodline. Okay. Absolutely chosen. You got that spiritual gift. You got that third eye energy here. You are absolutely breaking generational curses here with this 12. Okay. Somebody's going through an awakening or, or have gone through an awakening. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Somebody's third eye is awake. Somebody's open now. Somebody can see things from a higher perspective. Mm -hmm. You're communicating with these angels or with your angels. There's communication here as well. Absolute communication here. Somebody's listening to their inner calling. Judgment here. But it's breaking of generational energy here. Somebody's broken from this family situation here. Now... Also, what I pick up here, this six, there's an ex-lover here. This ex-lover is also going through this awakening. If they had a family situation here where there was people that was codependent on them, six of pentacles energy here, this person is now... Uh, making a final decision on letting it go, closing out this cycle with this three, coming down to a three. This person is now aligning themselves and you as well as an individual and breaking your own generational curses here to your mind, body, and soul. Yeah. So as this person. So I'm picking up a twin flame energy here as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This person, I'm not going to lie to you, um, they communicate with you. Yeah. This person communicates with you. Like they're getting dreams, messages. You're getting messages. Y'all communicate. Mm-hmm. This person is going on their spiritual path as well as you, my collective. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I'm also picking up like a hangman energy here. Somebody was not sure of what they wanted to do. They had a lot of doubts within themselves. What else is going on here, Spirit? Because this is definitely a judgment here. Definitely judgment hangman energy here. I keep hearing that song. Mr. Telephone Man. There's something wrong with my line. Okay, I'm hearing that again. Five. Yeah. Somebody's going through a spirit. Spirit is guiding you or guiding this person. This is like a change here. I told you somebody's communicating with the most high right now. Okay. Yeah, somebody with this higher friend energy, somebody's shedding their beliefs. Okay. All right, you're different from the rest, my collective, okay? This family situation no longer serves you or your person, okay? Yeah, definitely going through some changes here, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Shedding old beliefs here. This six and a five, that's an 11-11. There's a twin flame energy here with this 11-11 here, okay? Now, it could be you. Or your twin flame going through this. But also with this 1111, you're on a whole nother path here. And that 1111 is bringing forth your manifestations. You are a powerful manifestator as well, my collective, okay? All right? Uh, you are supposed to share your wealth of knowledge with the world as well, okay? Yeah, yeah. You're very good at communications. With the throat chakra energy here... You're here to spread the truth. You're here to spread the messages of the Most High God. Whatever it is as a healer, okay, whatever you the, whatever you are naturally at good at or to born to do, this is what you're supposed to do, okay? You're very loving. 
Yeah, you spread messages of love as well. You, you're here to enlighten the world. Okay? That's what you're here to do. But now your person is being spiritually guided as well. Because this is like the King of Swords energy. But it's also with the Hierophant energy. Somebody's being led to their higher self. They're getting out of this five cents and getting into their six cents energy here. Breaking a family dynamic here. Okay, this person realizes or you realizes you're on you're meant to be on a different path. Okay. Because with the 12 coming down to the three uh, and the three and that five comes down to an eight. Yeah, it's letting go of past life, letting go of a cycle that no longer serves. Okay, walking away from a situation, um, getting in on your mastery. Okay, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right. It's time to accomplish new things in your life. Things that no longer serve you, you're shedding it. Letting go of the old paradigms here, okay? Um, it's also going through a change, like a dark night of the soul between this. Because see, when you mix... Okay, spirit. Yeah, somebody's going through a spiritual transformation. Spirit is guiding this person to their higher self here. Somebody's definitely tapping in. You know, they're no longer in the 3D energy. What I pick up with this number five here, they're ascending to their sixth sense here. You know, somebody's tapping into their third eye energy here. And some of y'all is somebody who's who has a family here, or you are breaking from generational energy here. Whatever you were traditionally raised in with this higher fit energy, it's no longer serving you. You're seeing things, you're seeing that you have a different type of truth. You speak a different type of truth. Okay, what people believe in, that's their beliefs. What your beliefs are is spirituality. These people are still confined to religion, which there's nothing wrong with that. There's no shade here, but you're on a your person and you are on a spiritual journey here. Here, okay it's an 11 11 here okay all right yeah there it is there go that three i was talking about there you go three of wands energy three of cups energy okay um somebody do also wants to come back and reconcile with you my collective i do feel like there's a reconciliation of twin flame energy here but i do pick up on a of a divine feminine or divine masculine now living in their life's purpose you see things from a different perspective and with that fifth chakra this fifth chakra represents willpower as well it's about setting boundaries and self-expression here all right yeah so this with this empress energy here um this masculine i feel like he's balanced and you as well my feminine okay yeah there's balance here okay Hmm. They're, didn't I tell you? They're going to fifth again. So this is like a queen of swords, king of swords energy here. Okay. There's a lot of people that's going to be. There's, and the reason why you guys have to go through this, like I'm picking up like a ten of swords energy here. But you see how these numbers are doubling up? Six. That's a nine and a nine, a 10 and 11, a eight, a eight. Do you see how these numbers are doubling up? Hmm. Because this is something that you're letting go of. You, you guys not only are breaking generational curses and cycles, but you guys are also breaking past life cycles as well. Now you have the foresight. I'm picking up like a three of wands energy here. Okay. You guys are attaining a lot of knowledge and wisdom here as well with this nine. You guys are attaining a lot of knowledge. Your knowledge, your wisdom, whatever it is that you're going through with this spiritual awakening, it's, 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 it's transforming you. Okay. Yeah. You're ending this cycle. Okay. Of the family. I'm picking up like a 10 of swords, but also like a 10 of cups energy here. Okay. There's two 11s here. There's two nines here. Two eights here. Wow. All right, Spirit. What else we got here? What else we got here, Spirit? Hmm. Yeah. You guys are definitely on your mastery. Look at this 33, baby. Look at that. Mastery. Look at that. 
align to your life's purpose, mind, body, and soul. Going through a death and a transformation with this 10. Huh? Going through a death and a transformation right here. Definitely. Definitely. Definitely going through a death and a rebirth here. And I do feel like it's both of you. It's your twin flame and it's you, my collective. Y'all could have master number number 33 here. Okay. Could be seeing the number 33 here a lot. 633 is what I'm seeing as well on the clock. 533. 655. Maybe you're seeing these numbers a lot. Could be seeing 33 a lot on license plates or something like that. But you definitely have gone through a spiritual transformation here. Okay. And whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing as a healer, because that's what you guys are here to do. You're here to heal. Whatever you're doing is going to create um, wish fulfillment. Okay. Things that you're manifesting is coming to fruition as well. Things that you're speaking, like you have the foresight, whatever you have a vision, if you see, if you, if you guys are having a lot of premonitions and visions here, it is, it is manifesting. It is coming to fruition here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. It's definitely coming to fruition. You're using this creative, this creative gift to bring, to build your abundance. Okay. Very creative energy here, but this is also like a soul, a transformation, soul transformation here. Okay. A death and a rebirth. Oh, this is interesting. Let's get the yin yang Oracle. And then we pull the tarot. Didn't I tell y'all? Look at this. <laughs> I'm not great. This is a twin flame connection for some of y'all here. This is what you and your twin is going through. Okay. There go the divine feminine. And before I split the deck, what did we have here? Look at that. Divine feminine and a masculine here. Balanced. Your masculine and your feminine energy here is balanced, but it's also a divine feminine, divine masculine going through this transformation. Don't this masculine look like he's going through, uh, uh, like in a Herman energy? Spirit is guiding this masculine, okay? Isolated energy here, okay? Uh, divine fem, I feel like you already here. There go that feminine energy here. There it is. I feel like this is your masculine that's ending this cycle. He's ending a family situation here, okay? I really do. I really, really do. Yeah, this person is going through a separation. You separated yourself from your family situation. You feel me? Okay, so we're going to leave that here. I'm going to leave this masculine here. Definitely. You're letting go of the soul ties here. All right, let's shuffle it out. Dark night of the soul. There go that shadow work. Didn't I tell you this person is going through a spiritual transformation? Yeah, this person is letting go of like, you know, they're, they're ascending. You know, you have the five senses, right? But this person is tapping into their sixth sense now. See that nine right here again? Yeah, that's that spiritual change going through this line, um, uh, um, aligning each other's, aligning your energy with your mind, body, and soul. You are definitely here to change the world, but it's also that you're, you could tap into other dimensions, other realms as well to my collective, okay? See that third eye? See that? That crown chakra, that downloads, getting a lot of visions, get a lot of premonitions here. All right? All right? Somebody was definitely holding on to soul ties here. Somebody was under soul ties, but they were karmic soul ties. Okay? Now, these karmic soul ties could be your family members, lovers, ex-lovers, whoever it is. But there it goes. Somebody went through the, is going through the dark night of the soul, and I feel like it's this masculine energy. Okay? It's y'all twin flame here. Okay? I feel like for a very long time with this fifth chakra, I feel like somebody was holding back on their truth. You know what I mean? Somebody was in fear and this five of cups energy is like I'm picking up ten of cups energy. You know, they did whatever what made people happy. You know, they did whatever made everybody else around them happy. But really, they was in a despair. Ten of swords. This person felt depressed. OK, but it's an ending now. It's an ending. It's an ending of a situation here. Because I feel like you guys were in a spiritual connection here, right? Yeah. You guys will communicate telepathically or through dreams with your twin flame here. But see, it was a transcendence unity. You guys were physically together, but this person was trying to avoid this energy. And it became stalemate. It became more and more of a burden the longer you guys avoided your ascension or this person avoided this twin flame connection. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But there go that wish fulfillment. There it is. There go that wish fulfillment. There go the sun coming up over the horizons. You see that there. Okay. 
Somebody's going through an awakening here. Okay. There go that transformation. I can't make it up. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Give me a couple more cards that we're going to pull the tarot. Ooh. What's this? Somebody's been spying and watching. Somebody's spying and watching. Somebody's been inspecting. Okay. Hmm. Now it could be a karmic here that's watching and spying. Okay. This person definitely misses this type of love, this compassion right here. Okay. That three also represents lovers. Yeah, this person had a commitment. Somebody was trying to stay committed to a family situation here. Some of y'all was bound by traditional beliefs, how you were raised as a child, how your parents raised you. You know, what you seen your grandparents do, what you seen your, your mother and your father do, or whoever the people that raised you, committed to family, home life, right? Somebody also that I picked up right here with the six family situation. Somebody was trying to stay committed to a situation while they were watching you, Okay. All right. Yeah, there go the messages. Dreams, like I said. I picked it up. Okay. Um, mm, what else is going on here? But I'm going to tell you the truth. The longer this person stayed over here, the more they would be coming more and more into this darkness. They was, th th they was drowning in sorrow. They was drowning in regrets. This person felt like they were guilty uh, breaking away from their family beliefs or breaking away from a commitment of their own family you feel me see so somebody's find the action somebody's found courage to take action it's time for expansion with this jupiter energy it's time for growth it's time for expansion it's time to get up out that energy you feel me yeah once they do this is what's going to start falling in, into place stability and harmony and flow you feel me this is what's going to start taking and taking place right here Okay, I keep seeing this reunion soul tie right here. I keep seeing this right here. Yeah, but the more this person stayed here, they was being bound. Okay, bound with just their old traditional ways of thinking. They, this person really thought, yes, this is my soulmate. But that soulmate was to teach this person a lesson. It was to help them to go through an awakening. You know what I mean? But the more they sat there, you know what I mean? It was like, it was due to money, maybe to the finances, the security. You know, due to the security, this person stayed here trying to work hard on keeping things in balance. Um, but right here was peaking. The more they sat there, this person was in lack. This person was feeling in lack, feeling a lot of doubt. You see how this person got there? This looked like the same person to me right here. Don't that look like that same person right here? Hmm? trying to be brave, trying to keep things together. But the more they sat there in that family situation and is trying to commit to it, they wasn't getting any wish fulfillment. They weren't satisfied in that situation. They did it for the money. They did it because they thought it was secure, you know? So they would stay over here and watch you, Divine Femme, okay? They would watch you. But this person definitely want to come in and reconcile with you. I do feel like this person wants to come in to express their love to you. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Because they were sitting here. But see, this person is ready to free themselves from a situation. Didn't I tell you there's an ending here? Somebody's freeing themselves from this situation. Yeah, somebody's getting aligned to their life's purpose. North Node here. Somebody's North Node could be um, a Gemini. Could be a Taurus. Uh, could be a Earth sign, Capricorn. Um, Virgo here. Um air sign libra aquarius like i said okay hmm could be pisces as well but somebody's here to get into their tap into their north node here this is to teach you a spiritual lesson to get on your ascension okay my collective yeah where they were at was only due to chemistry the, the only chemistry they had together was only passionate emotional somebody was keeping them emotionally uh bound or keeping them in this emotional guilt you know five of cups energy you know playing on this person's emotions, you know? But it's time to end that with that 10. It's over. See, this person was sitting here in nostalgia. Somebody was reminiscing over the past over you. Somebody want to come in and reconcile with you. I told you, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Um, I'm also picking up on a three of wands energy, like they're waiting on something here or they were waiting for this change to happen. But the more they waited on this change, the more it became more depressing for this person. Yeah, it did. 
Yeah, it did. This person was sitting over here for a long time and watching, spying. Okay. And the more they sat there and watched, they was they 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 was definitely feeling in lack. See, this person's going through a rebirth. I told you with that judgment energy, it's a rebirth following their inner calling. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's get the tarot on this. Um, let me pull up this witch's oracle here. Yep, witch's oracle here. Yeah, somebody's coming in. Somebody's finally um, ascending to their higher self, fully aware of who they are and why they're here. Okay, this is all about self-awareness, divine feminine energy here, okay? You're finally aware. I feel like with this nine of pentacles, there it go. When I picked up on the six and this three, somebody's single, independent. Uh, somebody's supposed to use this gift of their wisdom and their knowledge of that sacred knowledge to bring forth security. And there go that empress energy. There it go. I told you, Divine Femme, you're here three times. Empress energy is here three times. There it go. Okay. High, the high Priest, Nine of Pentacles, Empress energy. This person was over here committing to a family situation. Yeah, they were. That's why they were stuck. They were indecisive. They didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to do. This person kept going back and forth. They knew where their heart is, and it was with you, Divine Femme. But this masculine didn't know what to do. This person was feeling guilt, you know? This person felt d d um, depressed about the fact that they might have to hurt some people here. But see, with this three right here, this, this person knew that they had to get themselves aligned to their life's purpose here, okay? This person is a has a master number. This person is born with a, with a calling over their life. So are you, okay? So with this hierophant energy here, this is what this person was doing, sitting here and staying committed, you know, but I feel like with this 10 here, like I said, they're shedding their beliefs. These old traditional family beliefs, what marriage is, what society think you think society says it should be. Somebody was here stuck, not knowing what to do with this hangman energy. They was on pause. Somebody was asking God, what should I do? Because they felt guilty. I'm going to tell you that right now. Somebody felt guilty. You got family members that wanted to keep you stuck. They wanted to keep you stuck from ascending and breaking these generational curses as well for the ones who is not dealing with a twin flame connection here. And I feel like you freed yourself. All right. You freed yourself to seek those opportunities to go ahead and seek higher knowledge. OK, with this higher fin energy, you went you went above what religion told you. You didn't just go by the book. So you're different than the rest of the family members here. You feel me? All right. You was born with this gift too. feel me. So I'm like I said, there's two different energies here. You feel me? All right. So I feel like your twin flame was sitting here in this hangman energy and it was time to surrender this. Somebody had to shed their old beliefs. They were confined to their traditional ways of thinking and doing religion, marriage, you know what it should be. And while they was there, they were sitting here watching you secretly secretly and i feel like somebody probably looked at you this masculine could have probably looked at you my collective um divine feminine because you some of y'all probably give messages here what you were speaking was getting this person enlightened like a king of swords queen of swords energy here i'm picking up on you feel me you, you if this person if you have a platform here for some of y'all you're here and giving the messages like you're supposed to like i said okay you're giving messages you got this person enlightened Yes, you have. You're enlightening this masculine here. Some of y'all tap into each other through dreams, through realms, other energies, other portals here. Okay? Yeah. So you encourage this person to start taking action. You encourage this person to expand um expand their their beliefs to start to open up, start to see things from a different perspective spiritually away from the religious beliefs, okay? All right, because they were staying here to keep things in harmony. This person didn't want to ruffle the feathers, okay? But for you, my divine femme, I feel like you are here stable, harmonized, and in flow with your divine purpose. You're in flow, and that flow is making you create. You're very creative. It's bringing forth a lot of money, success, or whatever this luxury is to you. Whatever you consider to be luxury, it's no longer having you here. Your twin is right here, or I should say was there. Feel me? Was there. Okay. Wow. Wow. 
All right, let's shuffle it out. Yeah, this is your person. But see, the whole time they was here, this person has an abundance of love for you. I told you this person is going through an awakening. You see that sun card? See? Look at that. Look at that. Let's shuffle this out. Look at that. They have an abundance of love for you. There they are. Yeah, they are. And see, also with this Ace of Cups energy, my collective, you realizing that with this self-love energy, you have to do what's right for you. That's why you chose the route of your spirituality. You don't give a fuck about what anybody want to say because a lot of them was talking shit on your name. You know what I'm saying? They didn't like the fact that you, some of y'all could be like tarot card readers or some of these family members made it look like you got mental issues, like a ten of swords energy. Like, yeah, something's wrong with you. But everything that you spoke came to, everything that you said to these people, whatever visions, dreams, whatever messages you were giving these people, it came to pass though. It came to pass. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. It came to pass. It made even some of them fear you. Because you know what? They try to hold things from you, but your intuition is popping with this high priestess energy. People can't hide shit from you. So a lot of people fear you for this gift. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. They fear you. Because it's like they would say jinx. You jinx them when you open your mouth. But it's not a jinx. It's just your gift. Okay? So with this high, this high priestess, I mean, with this empress and ace of cups energy, your blessings are flowing. Abundance is because spirit is now blessing you with so much and so much abundance in your life because you're doing what you're here to do. You're in your life's purpose fully. You've ascended. Okay? All right, some of y'all North Node could be um, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, uh, or it could be um, Virgo, Capricorn. Like I said, doesn't matter. You know what it is, my collective. You know what it is, okay? Yeah. You see, you've conquered. You conquered your fears. <clears throat> The polarities are in your life are being balanced now with this yin yang energy that you see here on this chariot energy. You got the willpower and I feel like your energy because you've healed yourself, you've ascended, you're, I'm, I'm going to tell you what's going on. You're actually helping your twin to do the same thing without even being there. It's energetically. It's energy. So you're helping your person to fulfill their life's purpose What's destined. You're getting this person to get on their destined path because this person is going through a death and a rebirth. I told you we've seen that Scorpio energy on the eight. This person is going through a death and a rebirth and letting go of this karmic life cycle. This person is now awakening. Sun card energy here. This person is awakening. Okay? Yes. Because they're coming back and they're realizing that with this two of cups energy, this person is a... So you guys have a very strong soulmate connection here. But the karmic they were with was only to teach them a spiritual lesson with this reunion. They kept staying in this situation, kept repeating it, kept repeating this karmic life cycle. They kept repeating it. They kept repeating it because, because they was bound to their traditional beliefs. Like I said, with this higher fin energy, they really felt like this person and them were destined to be. They really did. You know what I'm saying? Your fate and their fate is two different fates. You're very spiritual. This person is very traditional. You feel me? You and the family members. You're very spiritual. Your family is very traditional. Take it how it resonates, okay? Put, put yourself in either way, whichever way it goes here, my collective. But you were bold enough to take this leap of faith and free yourself. You're the first one to break your generational curses here. And you've encouraged, I'm going to be honest with you, you've encouraged, you You were strengthening. See, didn't I tell you with that ten of, everything is fine? Somebody sitting here with this ten of swords energy playing like everything is fine. They got that queen of swords energy. But they was being stuck with this person. No matter how hard they worked hard for this to come to, to, to for things to change, but things were never going to change. No, they were dealing with somebody who was cold, who had no emotions. Uh, this person only thinks one way and one way only. And they see things from only their perspective with that Queen of Swords energy. They feel like everything they say is correct. You know what I mean? So with that strength card, two of cups, you guys might not have been in a physical union, but that spiritual union is what got you and got this person. You gave them your strength. Once you healed yourself and broke this cycle, you, you finally help your twin flame to find the strength to do so. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. Cause I told you, I picked up that 10 of swords energy. They go to tower an awakening, a grand awakening. Cause this person was delaying. This person was delaying this two of pentacles energy here. These family members was trying to delay you from your ascension. You know what I mean? If you was to tell them some vision that you had or some dream that you had, they would look at you like you crazy. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. This person right here, which I do feel like is this masculine energy here. This masculine is sitting here watching you. You see that person laying there on the phone? That's them right here spying on you. That's them. You see that person, they laying there playing like everything is okay. But I told you with this Ten of Swords energy I was picking up right here. You were speaking the truth with that Queen of Swords energy as well. All right. Look at that. Ten of Swords. There it go. Didn't I tell you? There it go. Because somebody was bound to their traditional beliefs. But sitting here in the sadness, Five of Cups energy, you know, Ten of Swords energy, depressed. But it was time to end that cycle. It was time to end that. It was time to launch forward. It was time to find the willpower to go forward and launch forward and keep it pushing. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So in order for this person to come and meet your vibe, they have to know their self-worth and truly know that they have to accept, accept the highest love for themselves first. That's the reason why this person, this person right here is now going through this awakening. They're now realizing that their happiness starts with them. Sun card, this masculine, okay? This masculine could be a Leo, okay? Yeah, they, they, they have to know their purpose. And in order for them to do that, honey, they have to break this cycle. They have to go through this death and this rebirth. We've seen that. Because all this person would do is sit and watch you and sit in this nostalgia right here. This is what they would do. Memories of you sitting back, you know, looking, looking into the past. OK, and staying committed to a family situation, which was not supposed to be uh, uh, upheld for so long. No, but people feel like because they got a house, they have children, they have a car, assets, all these things. They have to stay there under these soul ties. OK, and they don't. So with this tower here, this is divine intervention here because with the wheel of fortune what's destined to be is destined to be. It's time to free yourself. It's time to free yourself. OK can't stop destiny it's time to let go of this karmic life cycle and move on okay because it's faded baby all right it's faded this this twin flame connection your destiny your path of who were you to be who you're to be and meant to be in this life is it's, it's it's already written before you got on this earth this is already set in y'all akashic records it is what it is so sitting here and denying this energy is only going to make you feel more depressed it's only going to take a toll on you mentally. It's going to make you feel like you're going fucking insane. Because somebody was juggling. Somebody was trying to juggle through this idea. Trying to keep the stability going. The burdens became more and more heavier. You feel me? Three of swords. I can't make it up. Hmm? Heavy heart. Heavy mind. Okay? Somebody felt guilty and they're going to hang men again. Not knowing where to go. Don't know what to do. The spirit was like, it's time to surrender. Stop. You got to surrender. Okay? Yeah. It's time to surrender. Okay? It's time for a new beginning with this. It's time for a new beginning. Okay. And they stayed there because maybe the wife was pregnant. Queen of Pentacles energy here. They got the wife pregnant. So this person is like, well, you know, I've been here since, you know, the big, I, I conceived the child with this Queen of Pentacles. I got to try to make everybody happy, but it was toxic. There go the devil card. It was toxic. It was toxic. This Queen of Pentacles probably also known that, you know, this masculine wanted to move on, but it was a soul tie. Keeping this person bound by getting, getting themselves, getting this, this queen of pentacles, getting pregnant. You know, um, this, this emperor, this masculine was definitely providing a blissful life. It was happy happiness for her because she was getting taken care of with that queen of pentacles energy. Huh? Definitely. Right. But it was all a soul tie. This is it. It was all a soul tie right here. It was only to teach this person a spiritual lesson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was only to teach them a lesson. You know what I mean? But there go that four of wands, twin flame energy again. You feel me? Woo! And I feel like for some of you guys, now that you're on this right path, everything that you worked hard for, you earned it. You earned the stability. Um, you, earned, you earned the recognition. That's why success is here for you, my collective. And somebody is walking away from all the success that they built with this karmic energy. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's walking away from all the success. Everything that they built with this person, they letting it go. No more. This person doesn't need anybody's attention or approval anymore. Look at me. Look what I got. That's what this Queen of Pentacles was all about. You know what I mean? Definitely providing a happy, successful life for this Queen of Pentacles energy. But as well for you, my collective, now that you've moved on, now that you found the strength to break away from the family ties and the traditional beliefs, okay, because they wanted to keep you right here unstuck, you had to let that go. You went within. You asked for it to guide you. You got the guidance. 
here it is. You freed yourself. You found your inner strength with that Queen of Pentacles energy here. Listen, let me tell you something. This is you as an earth angel because the earth angel, the Queen of Pentacles also represent an earth angel. Not just materially wealthy, but you broke away from the family traditional beliefs and pursued your own happiness. And in pursuing your own happiness, it's bringing forth a lot of success. It's bringing forth a lot of security for you. Feel me? Yeah. So somebody had to let go of this karmic soul tie here. And this masculine, I'm not going to lie. This masculine was in fear because he knew, you know, it's like with a, with, a, with a mental anguish, heartbreak. He was in fear. He, he didn't want to look like the heartbreaker. He didn't want to look like or she, take it how it resonates. This person didn't want to look like they were betraying their family and their commitment. You know what I mean? To, because they're in love with this empress. You feel me? They didn't want to break their family ties because they've been here since this wife conceived the baby. You know, I watched this child to grow up. You know, I watched this child and the family grow. I've been here since day one, but it's just been nothing but chaos. And it's going to always be chaotic until this person step into their purpose. Because where God doesn't want you to be, you will never find peace or rest. Okay. You'll never find peace. So this masculine felt guilty through the swords energy. It, it weighed heavy on his heart. It did because he's in love with a divine feminine. You're here three times divine fam. Look at that. Look at that. You're here three times. Empress, Empress, Empress three. Okay. You are this person's true love, but it is more than just a physical love. This is a soul love. Divine feminine here again, high priestess. But the reason why this person was looking, I feel like this person just was so traditional. Like I said, you are so spiritual. Okay. All right. You had to break away from the bonds of these soul ties of the family members. Okay. This is how you grew up since you were a child. This is what you were born into since you were a child with that page of cups energy. That's all you know, but you decide to walk away from that and break those generational ties. You decide no more. I'm not like the rest of y'all and I'm different and it's okay for me to be, to be different. So some of y'all was here. You had to walk away from that. Cause you know, if you sat here, okay. Um, maybe some of y'all, uh, some of y'all grew up in a home where your father, um, when I see this, um, when I see this empress and this high priestess energy here, um, maybe some of y'all father was like a, um, a pastor, a minister here. And so, you know, maybe you did a lot to try to please your father and your mother here. Okay. Maybe you did try to please them to live up to their standards. Um, but you have a different calling over your life and people should just respect that, you know, um, People should just respect that because with the six of wands energy here as well, this, 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 this higher fit energy is like, you know, we're a public figure. How would it look to see that you are flipping cards and you're a tarot card reader and you, you're not doing the traditional things. You're going to make me look embarrassed, you know? So, you know, you know, this, this father figure, whoever this masculine energy, king of swords energy, queen of swords energy, or your mother was a preacher or a pastor. Either way, you know what I mean? You, 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 they just have very strong beliefs and it, they try to keep that on you. They try to keep you in, in this stuck energy, but spirit was like, no, you got a different calling over your life here. Okay. All right. Your messages, your dreams, what spirit was showing you, you was receiving messages from a higher, from a sixth sense here. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah third eye awakening. Okay. So it's like you were communicating with the most high God and different energies. And they would tell you that you was working with the devil, you know, you, you know, but it was time for you to go through this, a transformation and go through this awakening arising. Okay. So there's a, there's two different energies here. My collective, please take what resonates. You feel me? Um, you know, a lot of them was saying you was doing devil work here. If some of y'all are very uh, spiritual, you do Reiki, you do candle work, um, you do, you know, salt baths or you, you know, you write, you use crystals, whatever it is that's spiritual is just non-traditional. So people like to point you out to say you working with the devil here. You know what I mean? Those family members, you know, the church members, you know what I mean? Cause they have a, they have a status to uphold with the six of wands higher friend. We have a status to uphold. How could you, we don't work with the devil. We don't do this devil shit. You know what I mean? So they were judging you. They would judge you. Family members, the, the community would judge you with that Ten of Cups energy. But this is what you were born into. So what you were born into is what they expected you to continue to be. And they was keeping you stuck from your life's purpose. You feel me? Uh, so some of y'all did break away from this. And for your twin flame here, they was raised in a traditional mindset as well. Okay? So, um... 
you know, somebody broke away from the family traditions here and to pursue their own happiness. You feel me? You know, we got a lot riding on this. How could you, you know, you're our daughter. Your father's a pastor. Your mother's a preacher. How could you? Yeah, but that's not my destiny. That's not my destiny. That's not what's written for me. This is fate. And I got to follow my calling. So you decided to. No more fear. I'm going to launch forward. You feel me? I found that strength. And I feel like for some of y'all here, you definitely enlighten strength in your twin flame in stepping into your power and doing your healing work here. Okay, Divine Femme? You definitely have. Okay? Um, my masculine, you could have been the one going through this with your family too. Take it how it resonates. You feel me? Uh, but you're here to serve your life's purpose. And that's what you guys are doing. And this is what your twin is going to be doing now. Because somebody was trying to, you like I said, you broke the, the, the traditional, staying committed to the family ways of doing things. And for this masculine or feminine, take it how it resonates. Um, they just have a calling over their life and they have to let go of this family situation. For some of y'all, it's family, something that they uh, committed to this family, husband or wife or whatever. Or then for some of y'all, it's something that you were born into. It's the way your family was raised, church, the Bible. And there's nothing wrong with that, but that's just not your calling. That's not your destiny. You know what I'm saying? So this person had to let go and they felt guilty. They felt hurt. Three of swords. They didn't want to hurt anybody. But they was more hurt sitting in that situation. You see what I'm saying? Not being their true self. You feel me, I said? So this person would sit here and watch you and spy on you. And I feel like this was your twin. But knows that this connection between you and them is just undeniable. With this two of cups, ace of cups. This love, this twin flame connection is so freaking undeniable. So you definitely found the courage to take action and living in your life purpose. But you're also doing, your, your energy is feeding your twin as well. All right, my collective, your energy is definitely helping this twin to break away from this Ten of Cups energy right here, okay? And you broke away from your generational energy here as well, okay? You're not like everybody else in your family. You're just not, all right? And listen, let me just get the, um, let me get the, another deck here. Let me just clear it up. This reading is longer than I expected, but it's okay. It's Billy, it's this masculine decide to Nine of Pentacles energy is just like security, like, you know, they were there, but they they still were acting like they were single, but they was holding on because it was a luxurious life. You know, the, the nice house, the nice cars, but they were there single though, flexing single. How are you going to be in a relationship, but you single, but they were staying around for the security. They were staying around for the, for the pentacles. You know what I mean? The money. Uh, but the more they stayed there, it just became more and more depressing. It, it did. It did. It was not serving them anymore. It was not serving their higher good. They was losing passion. Okay. Yeah. They was, the, they was, this person was very defensive. You know, they, they didn't want to see things for what it is. And I feel like with the seven of wands energy as well, my collective, you found the courage to pursue. A lot of people had their guards up against you for you believing in what you believe in that in that family situation, in the community, in the church, whatever it was, uh, they, they, they had a lot of, they, 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 they didn't like what you were doing. You know what I mean? They had their guards up when it came against you. Oh, you worship the devil. We can't mess with you. You know what I mean? Quick to judge you. You feel me? All right. But it's Okay. Let's get this answer. Let's get the um, yes, no oracle. It says you're ready. You've been ready. Trust. Your twin is too. Trust. You were born ready, baby. You were born ready. And you trusted in divine. And that's why with that trust and you're ready, you've always been born ready. This is who you are. You feel me? I feel like this masculine or whoever this uh, twin flame is to you, um... They're ready. They're ready. And they're taking that leap of faith. Okay. They're taking that leap of faith. Reconsider. There it is. This person was sitting there waiting, reconsidering if they should stay or if they should go. You know, um, a lot of these family members is like, you might, well, they had you reconsidering, kind of doubting yourself. You know what I mean? Doubting yourself with that lack and self doubt, that lack and doubt that we've seen come out. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these people had to reconsider and really kind of weigh their options. Like, okay, am I going to stay here? Because you see that sword down right here? This person wasn't getting any type of a mental and clarity. That sword down is like the ace of swords down. It's like lack, no sense of direction. They want to go. They know what their spirit is telling them, but they, 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 this person wasn't listening to their spirit. They was listening to their mind instead. And the mind could be a very tricky place, but spirit was saying it was time to let go. It was time to let go of the traditional beliefs and break that generational curse 
let go of the religious belief of sitting in a relationship where you're not happy. It was time to let go. Spread your wings, right? Because there is something better. There is something, there is, there's something better. All right. Spirit ain't going to put you in a situation where you're not happy, where you're not content, where you're not going to grow. But if you find yourself there, then it's definitely, if you're going to stay there, it's going to be unlikely that you're going to grow. It is definitely unlikely. If you don't let it go, it's going to be unlikely that you're never ever going to fulfill your life's purpose. You feel me? So yeah. Yeah. Oh, what else is this? What's this? Abundance. There it go, baby. Didn't I tell you it was bringing abundance? There it go. Once you're in your life purpose, abundance flow in all areas of your life. Because with that four of wands, it's well earned. You put that work and you went through that dark night. And that dark night is what you got you through. And because you trusted the process, okay, you trust the process, even though a lot of people was going against you. A lot of people had their guards up. That that emperor, that masculine had a lot of people telling him, why would you want to break away? You know, he didn't want to be judged. Why? Because you your heart ain't in it. What you mean? You got all that money. You stable. But even though he was in that, he was in that nine of pentacles energy. He got all that money, but yeah, he's financially secured, but emotionally he was a wreck. Ten of swords. He was depressed and that material things was not fulfilling his soul. So there go the abundance. I feel like within the next few weeks, um, within the next few weeks, I feel like you're going to hear from this masculine. I really do. I feel like you're going to hear from your twin. I feel like you're going to hear from your twin. Yeah. Abundance and opportunities are here now for you, my collective. So much opportunity since you've taken that journey. What just flipped over? What just flipped over? What flipped over? Okay. All right. The next few weeks. Anything else, Spirit? This is the Yes, No Oracle deck here. I haven't used this deck in a while. Okay. Anything else? Oh, okay. Take action. In the next few weeks, your person who was in this, um, this person right here, this person is going through their awakening with that tower. This masculine energy right here, next few weeks is going to be taking action. Okay. If they, if they, I feel like they're right here in this hermit energy. Spirit is guiding this person right now. They're definitely going through the dark night of the soul right here, right now. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So this person is going to take action. Yes, they are. It says take action and they will be taking that action. Okay. Yeah. Because I feel like you're already here, my collective. You're already here in your abundance. Okay. I really feel like you are divine femme. Okay. All right. Yeah. But spirit was like, it's time to let go. Okay. This person is recovering. It says recovery. And I feel like that's what this person is doing right here. They're going through the process of recovering and healing. Okay. This masculine energy here. Okay. It could be male or female. Okay. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Yeah, it's time for new opportunities. Big happy changes is coming. There it go. It has been a big happy change for you since you let go, my collective. Divine fam, I feel like you let go. That abundance is here. There it go. A lot of people had you reconsidering and doubting yourself with that ace of swords being down. A lot of people did, but you decide to let go. And I feel like that's where you're at, divine fam. I really do. I feel like your masculine is going through this recovery right here. I really do. I really do. All right. All right. Yeah, I really do. And the situation will improve because I feel like they will see it. But right now they're not seeing that because they're in the dark night of the soul. They're going through that healing. Um, I really do feel like they're going to take action here. OK, within the next few weeks here. But there is definitely something better. And you've always known it too, my collective. You've always known it. OK. And since you've done that, it's been nothing but big, happy changes for you since you let go. I feel like you already let go. Divine Femme Diva, switch the roles. Take what resonates. OK. All right, you guys, it's your girl, Unknown Goddess. I wish you guys love and light. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, new opportunities is here. And Spirit says, yes, look at that. Look at that. You're ready. You are ready. There it go. You see that world right there? The fire and this earth? It's like, wow. Yes. Spirit says, yes, this is what you're supposed to do. Yes, it's a big, fat yes. You took the right you took the you took the right action. You took the right course. You're on the right path. 1111, you're on the right path, okay? And your twin flame is as well. Yes. Okay? All right, y'all. It's your girl unknown goddess. I wish you guys love, light and peace.